Okay, let us pray. Father God in heaven, once more, thank you for this opportunity that tonight, Lord, we are gathered here before you, Lord God, before uh, uh, everyone, Lord, in this uh, Zoom platform. Thank you, Father, for giving us this opportunity, Lord God, that even though we are uh, so far away, um, uh, but Lord, uh, distance and time differences is is not a problem, Father, uh, because Lord, we are hungry for your word and and we want to to hear and study your words. We want to uh, strengthen our faith, Lord God, by hearing and understanding your word. Of course, through the illumination of the Holy Spirit, Lord God, um, we are here. Father, tonight, Lord, uh, help us, Lord God, to, to uh, really grasp and understand your words that we may not be hearers only, but uh, we may become doers of your words, Lord, that uh, we will live according to your uh, words, Father, that we will not just hear it, but we will live it out, Lord God, that, it, that your words become the embodiment of our lives, so that your words, Lord God, um may become may become us lord god lord tonight uh i thank you for my brothers my sisters that are here already and those that are um coming about to join father uh, wherever they are whatever they're doing father i pray lord god that you always keep them safe and you always bless everyone lord god and uh tonight lord god help us in understanding your words lord so that lord um uh uh, like what we have prayed for earlier, Lord God, that uh, let this be this for the strengthening of our faith so that we may know you more, Father, so that uh, uh, we may also be able to share your words, Father, to those who are in need of right relationship with you. So thank you very much for everything, Father. This we pray in your mighty name, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> All right, so good evening, brothers and sisters. Uh, again, uh, welcome to our uh, um, Monday Bible study. And I can see Kuya Manuel. Uh, I think you are already in Qatar, right, Kuya Manuel? Nasa Qatar ka na? Opo, Pia. Kailan ka dumating? Noong, ano po, Friday ng gabi. So, ah, okay. Mga 11... 50. Mm, okay. Praise the Lord. Welcome back, uh, Kuya Manuel. Thank you, Papi. Praise the Lord. And thank you for the safe travel. All right. So let's start our Bible study. Last week, last Monday, uh, so we discussed about the living water, right? And uh, we found or we find the uh, uh the living water as a topic being being discussed in the book of John chapter 4 verse 1 to 30 and we we have taken up up to uh verse 42 and now uh we have started so last week we have started already about uh from what you can see from your screen no uh the title is the blind beggar that receive his sight okay we have already started this and um so i would like i would just like to have a, a very quick recap before we proceed <clears throat> so last week we said and we have entitled this our topic for tonight as uh i want to see i want to see in with reference to the blind um beggar no that is being talked about in the book of Luke chapter 18, verse 35 to 43. And as we have said um, as an introduction that many of us feel lost in this world. Well, this may be mostly um, true to those who are, um, to those who doesn't have the right relationship yet. But I believe that that, us here who are here we already have the right relationship to the lord but it's between you and god right so i don't know maybe sometimes you have this feeling also that you are lost in this world you no know, and that you are finding 
no meaning nor direction in your life. And I hope we, we do not. But if we are, then this topic is um, very beneficial for us. And somehow we know that there must be more to life but cannot see what it is. Uh, as believers, we know that uh, truly there is more to life and we know what it is. And as I've said last week, so tonight we will continue the study no, of why we feel that way and how we can really see with reference to the beggar who receives his sight. So last week, uh, we, we read in verse 35 to 39, and I will just read it again. Okay. <clears throat> you can see from your screen, verse 35 to 39, I highlighted. I will read it. The word of the Lord said, As Jesus approached Jericho, a blind man was sitting by the roadside begging. When he heard the crowd going by, he asked what was happening. They told him, Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. He called out, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Those who led the way rebuked him and told him to be quiet. But he shouted all the more, son of David, have mercy on me. So this is the passage that we have uh, we have read and uh, maybe a couple of times uh, on your own. You have read and, and uh, studied this particular passage in the Bible. Uh, now, we said in verse 38, we ask, what did the blind man do when he heard the Lord Jesus passing by? We see in the verse 38, when he heard that the Lord Jesus was passing by, the blind man, he did what he did was he called out to the Lord Jesus, right? So I'm just making a quick summary of what we have discussed already so far before we um, continue, right? So in verse 38, we see that 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 the blind man or the blind beggar, you know, he when he heard the Lord Jesus passing by, he called out to him. He called out to the Lord Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on me. And I ask you before, why do you think the blind man called out to the Lord Jesus? You know? And we 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 answered last week that uh, um he called out to the Lord Jesus for four particular reasons. Number one, because he knew he was blind and he wanted to see. That's the second one. No, He knew he was blind. And second, first, he knew he was blind. Second, he wanted to see. And third, he knew that the Lord Jesus could heal him. Right? And fourth, because he believed that the Lord Jesus Christ would heal him. No, as uh, we have as we can see in verse 42 no uh, we said in verse 42 it's it it says jesus said to him receive your sight your faith has healed you no so he, that's the lord jesus christ healing him and he knows that the lord jesus christ can heal him that's why he's calling for the lord jesus and also um we i have asked you guys uh if the blind man, the blind beggar, does he know the Lord Jesus in the past? So some of you said that most probably uh, he must have heard, uh, the blind beggar must have heard about the Lord Jesus no, in the past. No, Why? Uh, because he was crying out to the Lord Jesus for mercy. So he will not cry out if, if uh, um, he, has not, he hasn't heard. Uh, the Lord Jesus from the past. So maybe he has heard that the Lord Jesus is doing miraculous things, right? Um, healing the sick. So that's why when he heard that the Lord Jesus is coming, you know, he is uh, that confident and because he knows he is blind and he wanted to see and he knew the Lord Jesus Christ has the power, the capability to heal him and he believed that the Lord Jesus would heal him. So he called out to the Lord Jesus and uh, remember, we have also discussed that the blind man was crying for mercy, no? And we ask what uh, I ask you, what is mercy, right? So you gave the answer for that, and and why, uh, why did the blind man needed mercy? 
no so that those are the things that um we ask ourselves last time so it's just a quick summary and now as we continue in our study of the bible of this passage let us spend some time no, to consider what it means to see can we, does all of have that does all of us have sight can all of us see i believe yes no i believe no no one here is blind no so I'll just, let me just greet those who, who just logged in uh, uh sister Catherine, good evening at sister grace good evening uh Kuya Jeff Atikes, good evening. Good evening po. Good evening po. Ayun. Teka, yung aking volume mahina. And uh Brother Richard and Ate Charlotte, good evening. Okay. So let us <clears throat> let us spend some time to consider what it means to see. No. I want to ask I want to ask you brothers what is the difference between what is the difference between a blind man and a one who sees so, so in tagalog uh, anong anong pinagkaiba ng bulag sa nakakakita let me ask you okay let's start with from the uh, order in my screen let me start with brother ashes brother ashes Yes, Pastor. Brother Ashish, what is the difference for you, um, sight one difference between a blind man and a, a one a man between a man who is blind and a man who can see? It is different. I also see my art, but as a, a blind man, he cannot see uh, for man or man and everything. It is different. Mm. Okay, let me let me just increase the volume of my uh because I can't hear. And just give me one second. Yeah. Brother, can you try again to speak? Yeah, it is different. Yeah. It is no, a okay. blind man, he cannot see everything. Okay. For example is man or man like that. Mm. And as a seaman, he can see everything. Yeah, okay. So you, the, the example you're citing is in particular to the ability to see, no? The the sight. Yeah. yeah. That, that is very obvious, right? Right. And uh, thank you, Brother Ashis. How about uh, Sister Catherine? Sight one difference between a blind man and a, a man who can see. Good evening, po, Pete. Good evening, po, Sarah. Uh, for the blind person, I think uh, they activate the sense of um, feelings or they activate some of the senses like because they cannot see. So mm -hmm. they will rely on what they hear, what they feel. Mm. So that's it. Because sometimes uh, it, uh, the person that uh, that can see, sometimes uh, he's, uh, he doesn't want, yung parang nagbibingi-bingihan po yung mga gano. Mm. <laughs> so, yung, yung, for the blind, they do not have a choice but to rely on uh, other people and to activate uh, other uh, senses. Mm. Okay. okay, thank you, Sister Kat. So basically what Sister Kat is saying is that uh, the blind man, normally they uh, they focus more in on, on their other senses as compared to the a man who can see. So he's, um, he's not bothered about focusing or increasing his other senses. So that's what the what uh Ate Catherine was saying. How about you, Ate Grace? 
can you cite any difference from uh, yung uh, uh, not given yet? Okay. Uh, yung yung blind man, the blind man uh, don't know what is happening around him. So mm. he is just uh, uh, asking for anyone na karilay, na karilay lang po, na karilay lang po niya sa ibang tao mm. to ask, to ask what is happening around him. Mm. So it's only like that. Yes, right. Thank you, uh, Sister Grace. So that's also true. No? The blind man, of course, he cannot see, so he relies. He's, uh, he is dependent. He relies on someone else uh, to guide him. No, That's also true. How about Kuya James? I-A-Listener daw si Kuya James. For me. Ah, sige, answer ko. Ah, ayan, ayan. Nine, sige, kaya. Sagot po kayo. Nine man, no? Nine, alis na ako. Um, <clears throat> blind man, um, for now, sa new generation na. Blind man, um, for us, we can see everything without any, um, any devices. But now, blind man, they need, um, they need other devices to, to see um think through the what um si Catherine is through the touch or tactile or listening mm. that's for me uh, as the difference mm. okay thank you kuya james so he basically he needs a tool no uh, or instruments parang ganun din parang to guide him no kasi nga he is blind uh, any other how about kuya jeff atikes of listener na kalagay dito. Okay. Ate, how about Ate Christina? Ate Christina, si Sister Ling. Hello po. Yeah. Yes po, PA. Pari-pari sa akin po, dalawa pong klase yung blind man po kasi Una po is yung vision talaga niya is uh, 20 over 200 as in black na talaga siya. So wala talaga siyang nakikita. Tapos meron pang isang blind man na siguro yung tinatawag natin nagbubulag-bulagan. Mm -hmm. Yung nasa harap na niya pero hindi pa rin niya nakikita. Yun po. Mm. Okay. So, so basically you are referring to the uh, a person na uh, anong uh, mahirap uh, i-convert sa English yung Tagalog nun na eh. nagbubulag-bulagan ah pretend nagpe-pretend no? pretend um, person pretending to be blind so that's another thing no uh, okay so I think that's an enough example na okay so now, thank you sa mga example na binigay nyo. Now, from those example, no, as we can see, sometimes, kagaya nga na sabi ni ati, um, uh, Sister Christina, no, sometimes people uh, may be not physically blind, pero nagbubulag-bulagan, no, pretending to be blind. No? And this we can call, ito yung mga tiyatawag natin na, yung mga... Uh, blind sila, spiritually speaking. Right? So, ito yung tinatawag natin na uh, spiritual blindness. And now, question is, how do they get spiritually blind? And how did it, how did it become a problem or a dilemma you know, for us? Yan. So, basahin ko lang yung may sagot dito si Kuya Jeff. Blind man who cannot see technically someone whose eyes cannot see or cannot see enough uh, can be used interchangeably. Metaphorically, a blind man or a man who cannot see is someone who cannot open his mind. Okay, thank you, Kuya Jeff. Now, so talking about physical, because of course we are studying the words of God, right? We are studying the Bible. And, sagit uh, po, now, we want to go and uh, see the parallelism of being physically blind and spiritually blind. Of course, we will use our imagination because we are not physically blind, right? 
but we can um pwede nating uh, ma-imagine we can imagine wha- what do because when we close our eyes basically parang uh, we are also blind but when we close our eyes so we can imagine what do physical blindness uh, ano yung mga uh, how should i say it yung mga na experience niya and it, we are going to compare it to yung tinatawag natin na spiritual blindness okay so let's talk about number one. now when when we have our vision no when we have our physical sight no we can see the wonders of god's creation no we we feel all because we see the wonders of god's creation now in spiritual now if we will go to that is physically seeing now if we go to seeing spiritually no through that we see we become aware of the greatness of the majesty of god and as a result we learn to worship god experience niyo na ba yon yung yung uh you can ano you can uh sort of kumbaga na nagagrasp natin or uh not only by seeing kasi you can like let's say for example you see a nice car no like for me i i like cars right so if i if i see like, like say in in the road if i see a ferrari i will see i i'll say oh it's a nice car right uh, it's it's me expressing myself from what my eyes can see right but if our spiritual eyes is open okay that i'm talking about before i was talking about my physical eyes i saw the a nice car so from there no um uh nagandahan ako sa nakita ko but when our eyes are open spiritually you no know, when we see yung mga greatness ng lord na ginawa niya sa atin and not only that even yung sa surroundings natin the majesty of god no as a result of that anong meron we learn to worship god di ba we learn to worship god because when we see like for example maybe for those of you who like cell phone right oh you see a, a new iphone 14 let's say for example so you say oh that's very nice so what do you do you save money to buy the, the that which you like because you like what you saw right now in this in when we, when our spiritual eye is open we get awareness of the wonders and the majesty of god and as a result in comparison to saving the money so we can buy the iphone or we can buy that which we which we like we learn to worship god right yun ang nangyayari sa atin is is that uh nag, now naintindihan niyo po yung sinasabi ko you understand what i'm trying to say about the others do you understand what i'm trying to say are you there Papa, B.A. Yeah, Papa. Okay. Now, <clears throat> when I ask, uh, I think it's uh, Sister Kat, no? Or uh, someone else who answered about uh, those blind people, uh, si Sister Kat ngayon, what, what they do uh, because they're blind, uh, yung, their, the other senses, they tend to train the and other senses you not know, to become more sensitive right i think it was you sister kat who answered that if i remember correctly <clears throat> so kapag ka, when you are physically blind you tend to be your other senses tend to be sensitive ganun din naman if you are not physically blind if you can see physically your eyes is also sensitive no let's let's say for example it is sensitive to light uh like right now you cannot see what i'm seeing but i'm in front of uh, my computer and and there is a lamp a reading lamp in my uh pointed at 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 the keyboard no so i can see the the keyboard when i type and if i look directly into this light the my eyes is sensitive to the light that it hurts my eyes no 
it's the same thing when we can see spiritually we also become sensitive but sensitive to what okay sensitive to the leading of the holy spirit you know, that that sensitivity we become sensitive to the leading of the holy spirit we become aware you no know, of what uh, the the holy spirit of what the lord wants us to do or wants us to um uh uh where, where he wants us to go you no know, of what is his will for us you no know, that is remember again we are comparing the physical sight versus spiritual sight right physical blindness and spiritual blindness another if we can see if we have if we have dirt in us we become aware that we are dirty right so like say for example my car uh, actually last when was that uh, i think tuesday if i'm not mistaken my, the the air conditioning of my car uh, suddenly um stopped stopped in the sense na hindi na siya lumalamig no it's not it's not uh, producing um a cold output no so i stopped my i stopped the car and i tried to tinker it a little bit and then little did, did i know my shirt and my hands are already dirty and when i saw it I saw my hands and my, i saw my shirt i saw that it was dirty that there is a dirt and i become aware that it's dirty right why because my eyes can see and right that is the same thing for you as well for all of us for example in your room if you see it's a magulo no madumi we know if we can see that there's dirt we know and we are aware that it's dirty now when we go to spiritual eyes we can see or we become aware of the dirt now can be yung ating sins no yung pagiging sinfulness no because our our uh, spiritual eyes are open we become aware of our sinfulness so again we are trying to compare physical sight versus spiritual sight right and these are just some examples no of course there are many examples no now for example us having physical sight no uh because we have uh we can see so we are able to know people more fully right like for example uh yung kausap mo nakikita mo di ba in addition to hearing and touching no yung yung mga kausap mo maybe mahal mo sa buhay your loved ones no in addition to hearing them or touching them we can see what what they are like and we can also do things with them which a blind person cannot you no know, because well of course the blind person can also do things with them but uh to to a limited extent you no know? like for example running together it it may be difficult for a blind person to run together with someone who can see you no know? uh, like for example uh biking or cycling together you no know? It might be difficult for a blind person. That's why uh, we can um, appreciate that, right? That is physical sight. Now, with our spiritual sight, you no, know, in comparison, we can know God fully, you no, know, more fully. Before, we only used to hear people talk about God, right? But now that our eyes are open spiritually, we can see Him. We can know him, we can experience him, we can also do things with him, right? Remember, the Holy Spirit is in us, right? So, these are comparisons. For example, another last example I give, uh, I want to talk about is if we are, if we can see, right? If we can see physically, we can become a guide to blind people, right? And now, if our eyes, if our spiritual eyes are open, then we can become a guide to those uh, who are in need of a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Basically, saying 
we can share the good news about the Lord Jesus Christ with other people. No? So yun yung, yung uh, comparison ng physical and spiritual blindness. And of course, this is a Bible study. We're not talking about physical blindness, although the because the subject of our passage is about the blind beggar who received his sight. But we don't want to focus about the uh the physical uh physical side but we want to focus about our spiritual side all right any questions so far or any insights that you have yes pj you raise your hand uh, PA, if I may just add. Yes, po. I, I think one of the answers earlier was uh if you are if you are able to see, you know where, where you are going. Yes. You, you know where you are and you know where you are going. Hmm. Tama ba na mention ba kanina yun, na nasa isip ko lang. Mm. So it, it, was, it, was my, it was my answer, but uh, I was not called, so I did not uh, reply. Okay. Um so um, if a person is uh ha has sight, he knows where he is. He knows where he is, and he knows where he is going. At the same time, if we are, if a person is a uh, um spiritually, uh, his uh his eyes are open. His spiritual eyes are opened. Uh, he knows where he is. Where he is. His situation in life, his actual, uh, spiritual, um, his actual spiritual status, and he also knows where he is going. So if he is saved, um, of course because his spiritual eyes is already open because of the Holy Spirit, so he knows that his ultimate destiny is in heaven, and like what you said earlier, uh, you are able to know. If you are unclean, meaning uh, you have sinned against the Lord, so you can you can um ask for uh, you can ask the Lord to cleanse you of your sin, so you are aware of that. So in 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 context, I mean in in uh when with respect to to your situation or location at that time, you know that you are in the wrong so you have to do something you confess your sin so that you will be in the right track again so if you if um I, um however wait baby however if you are spiritually blind number 1 you don't know where you are going or maybe you know already that you are going to hell but you're not doing anything about it or you just don't care about anything about it and uh, you you don't recognize your real situation the the danger you are in and the danger you will be in in the future if um if you don't uh, re repent or confess or you don't accept the Lord as your savior. Mm. Thank you, Pastor John. Um. So actually, what you have uh, the insight that you have given is uh, that's what that's where we we are going in our uh discussion. No, we we read. Uh, up to verse 39 and um, now let's read from verse 39 again let's read up to verse 43 uh, wait. Uh, let me highlight it and so may I ask about uh, brother Ashis can you read can you read the, the passage I highlighted. Okay, sure. Those who led the way rebuked him and told him to be quiet, but he shouted all the more. Speak, have mercy on me. Jesus stopped it and ordered the man to be brought to him. When he came near, Jesus asked him, what do you want me to do for you? Lord, I want to see, he replied. Jesus said to him, receive your sight, your faith has healed you. Immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus, praising God. 
when all the people saw it, they also praised God. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm. Amen. Thank you, uh, Brother Amen. Ashis. Now remember, remember. That's why I I took time to uh to review what we have discussed earlier. Remember uh the factors, you no know, that that we said what made what made the blind man called out to Jesus. So in the beginning, I said we have determined four factors. Uh, what made the blind man called to Jesus? We said because he knew that he was blind. No, the blind man knew that he was blind. And he, he knows his intention. And that is he wanted to see. And also he knew that the Lord Jesus could heal him. And he believed that the Lord Jesus would heal him. So these are the four factors. No, why that that we uh, discuss why the Lord, I, I mean, why the blind man, the blind beggar, called out to the Lord Jesus. Okay. Now, what we want to do now is with that perspective, itong one to four. You no, know, that knowing that the the blind man knew that he was blind and and uh, wanted to see, and he knew that the Lord Jesus could heal him, and he believed that the Lord Jesus would heal him. Now let us apply them to ourselves. No, in, in the spiritual sense, let us apply this to ourselves. No, so basically, uh, uh, let us imagine ourselves, okay? Uh, that we are sort of like the blind man, pero hindi blind physically, but we are blind spiritually. No? And then, uh, by applying that to ourselves, you know, we will uh, imagine or we will uh, analyze the importance of our eyes to be opened. No? Or we can understand the importance or we can internalize the importance of our eyes to be open, not only physically but also spiritually. Okay, so first we said that the blind man knew that he was blind, right? So what does that mean? The blind man knew that he was he was blind. What uh what do you think? Let me call. Let me call uh or let me ask for a volunteer if there's any volunteer. What do you think what does that mean? The blind black beggar. Of course we knew we know, right? But we said what may what caused the blind man and like Tasuli si Pastor Ajan. Okay, Pastor Ajan. He knew exactly what his situation is. And he knew that there uh, someone could help him in his situation. Mm, okay. So that's right. No, he knew that he was blind, meaning hindi siya nag uh, bubulag-bulagan lang or hindi siya nag pretend No? Because, see, I, I told you, no, that we we should apply this to ourselves in the spiritual sense. Okay? So meaning, we must know and we must acknowledge also that there are times that we can also become spiritually blind. Because some people, they never admit that they're blind. That is why that they are they cannot be healed. No? Yan yung problema. Not, now, I'm not saying that, that you are or we are like this. All right? Maybe we are, but most probably we are not, okay? Now, if this applies to you, what basically what the passage is telling us or what our um, studying is telling us is that, see, if, we, if you don't recognize, because that is the first step, right? If you don't recognize that you are sinning, then how would you be able to repent, no? How would you able to ask for forgiveness? Kumbaga, kung sa step one pa lang, uh, mali ka na. So, mali na lahat. Di ba? So, of course, first and foremost, we must recognize that uh, um, we are blind. Then, that we are... Yan, saglit lang po. Ate Maricel, mute lang muna kata. Huwag mute ka na lang po pagka ano ka na, magsasalita ka na. Ayan. Alright, so first we must be able. That's why um we must be able to ano magkaroon tayo nung awareness ba? Kasi having the physical side, 
you are aware of what uh, of what is in front of you no so dapat tayo mga kristiyano we are also aware spiritually as well meron tayong awareness no nung mga nangyayari sa ating kapaligiran and in particular sa ating mga sarili we are aware about uh, what we are doing we are aware about ourselves no because if we are not and uh, if we are not um uh Ano ba ang tawag doon? Um, yung, ano sa English yung um, yung aminin or yung being true. Ayan. If we're not being true to ourselves, no, then mahirap. No, we cannot be healed in that way. So we must acknowledge that, right? If if we are in that sense. Now, if if we are, let's, let's say, for example, if we are sharing also uh, to those who are... Um, uh not having the right relationship with God we also must uh lead them to see that they are blind no and second he wanted to see that's the second uh, uh reason no that we said why the man the beggar called on to the lord jesus because he wanted to see right first he knew that he was blind we said in a spiritual sense we also should know uh, what we are doing and uh, what we what uh, uh, in what standing we are in god no with reference to uh, what we have done or what we are doing that if we are uh, we are let's say uh, falling or committing sin no we should admit we should that admit it to God because if not, then we will not be healed. Then if not, then we are also spiritually blind. No, and now that we have already admitted that uh, our situation is like this, that that I have fallen and I have sinned, then like the blind man, we must desire to want to see. No, meaning. That now that we have come to a realization that we have become blind spiritually, uh, we have to come also to a desire, no, magkaroon tayo ng desire to be able to see again, no, to come out from that spiritual blindness. We must be able to say that we, we want to see. But Kagaya nga nung, nung sabi ni, I think si Ate Christina yung nagsabi nun, some people, they know that they are blind, but they prepare to stay that way. And that is, again, that is another problem. So if if in step number one, we don't recognize that we are becoming spiritually blind, no, that is a problem. So we have to come out from there. And now we have recognized that we are spiritually, that we have become spiritually blind. However, we prepare to stay that way. That is also a problem. No, parang, parang yung bulag na, na tao na alam niyang bulag siya at pero ayaw niyang makita. Ayaw niyang makakita. Gusto niyang manatiling bulag. No, so that is a problem. And we Christians, no, the, what in our bible study tonight this is what we are uh the lord jesus christ wants to evaluate ourselves you no know, to evaluate ourselves and to to want to if we are in that situation that we want to be healed from that right and then the third one <clears throat> so now he he knew that he was blind and he he knew that he wanted to see or he desires to see. And the third one, we said that he knew that the Lord Jesus could heal him, right? So in the spiritual sense, unless we truly believe that the Lord Jesus Christ can heal us, we will not cry out to him. And that is, na totoo yun, no? Um, un unless we have come to a re realization that only the Lord Jesus Christ would be able to help us. We don't cry out to him. Um, most often than not, we rely in ourselves. 
Kaya yung situation natin sometimes mas lalong nagiging stressful. I know because I'm also I have experienced that also. No uh, um uh yung, yung ganitong yung pinag-uusapan natin no that that sometimes you are spiritually blind and and uh, you don't want to recognize na meron kang problema no and what happens no lalong mas nagiging mabigat because unless we truly believe that the Lord Jesus Christ can heal us then we will not be able to cry out to him like if itong if itong uh, if the the blind beggar if he did not believe or if he doesn't know that the Lord Jesus could heal him, then he will not be able to cry out to the Lord Jesus. And for he believed that the Lord Jesus Christ would heal him, meaning he he doesn't he know that the Lord Jesus Christ could heal him, meaning he knows that the Lord Jesus Christ have the power to heal, and he also believed that the Lord Jesus Christ would heal him. So meaning he he knows that the Lord Jesus Christ has the power and he knows that the Lord Jesus Christ would do it if he asked him or if he asked the Lord Jesus Christ and in a spiritual sense it's the same unless we believe that the Lord Jesus Christ will heal us then we will also not cry out so basically what i'm trying to say is is this we as christians we need to recognize of course, who who can answer this? It's only you because it's only you who knows yourself, right? Um, I don't know you through and through. No, maybe if we have a husband or if we have a wife, our husband or our wife knows us. But it's only the Lord Jesus Christ, you know. It's only God who knows us through and through, and also because it's it's you, so you know yourself through and through. So if this is us and we are um in this condition suffering from spiritual blindness then this is what we should do we must recognize you know that we are in this situation and we must we must want to be healed from this and believe that the Lord Jesus Christ will heal us so let us cry out to God because only God can heal us and now <clears throat> Now let us move from there. In verse 39, uh sino na? In verse 39, Ate Maricel, please can you hear the verse? I can you read verse 39? Okay po. Those who lead the way rebuke him and told him to be quiet, but he shouted all the more all the more. Son of David, have have mercy on me. Mm. So Ate Maricel, tanong po, dun sa passage that you read, that na binasa mo, what, what did the people around the blind man try to do to him? Ano yung ginawa ng mga tao around dun sa blind man? According to dito po sa passage na binasa mo in verse 39, yung nakahighlight. And para pong sinasaway siya na tigilan yung pagsigaw ng pag pagsigaw kay Jesus yung hmm. pagtawag kay Jesus parang yung ganun po tapos tapos hindi siya nakinig sa sinasabi ng mga tao continuous pa rin siyang nagtawag sa pangalan ni Jesus dahil hmm. naninirahan siya na may magagawa yun para sa kanya hmm. amen amen ikaw ba Ate Marcel ganun ka din ba opo yan dapat ganun din tayo no because once we once we cry out to the lord jesus no once we cry out to him what happened nagkakaroon the, those who surrounds us no sometimes it can be maybe our friends our loved ones or maybe uh, our colleagues no anyone no sometimes na they try to prevent us from getting to the Lord Jesus. We want to, we want to go to the Lord Jesus to be healed, right? But but the enemy, of course, he doesn't want this. 
no so nagkakaroon merong mga kagaya nito na prevent na prevent yung paglapit natin sa Panginoong Hesus however we have to be persistent no we have to persist if really yun ang gusto natin that we we may be healed then we have to persist in calling and in crying out to the Lord Jesus Okay. So, what do you think? Yung ganitong situation nangyayari din ba sa inyo? Does this uh, situation happens happen to you as well? May na-experience ba kayong ganito? Ayan. Oh, okay. Kuya Orly. Oh, si Ate Maricel muna, Kuya Orly. Opo, PA. Uh, some, uh, madalas po. Pwede mo bang share? Um, kadalasan po sa mga ganyan eh, ano, um, ah, hindi naman po sa nagaano ng, ano, kasi kuminsan sa pag, pag-a-attend ng church, mm. example, yung ganun. Mm. Kuminsan yung sa pag-invite mo, may ibang taong mag, ay, bakit ka pa sa sama ganyan-ganyan, no? ganyan. may mga ganyan din kasi na experience ko po. Mm. Amen. O, oh, totoo yun, no? Ganun na experience natin I believe kayo din na experience niyo din yun hindi lang si Ate Marcel because I can relate to to her experience ko din yun uh, Kuya sino yung nagtaas ng kamay kanina? Kuya Orly? Kuya po Good evening po Good evening po Ano po yan eh tawag dito lagi pong nangyayari sa atin to as a Christian mm. uh, Marami pong pumipigil sa atin. Maraming blockage, maraming obstacle. Mostly friends, relatives, ako po kayo doon, mga co-workers. Mm. Actually, by, ito nga, itong, this, year's, this year na buwan, marami din sa akin, marami din sa akin buwan, yung nagsasalita ng hindi rin maganda, why, na bakit kailangan kong magsimba, pero senior pa rin ako, ganito, gano'n. Sabi ko, nasagot ko lang naman because nakakilala na kasi ako. Nakakilala na ako. I already have a site to uh, sa Lord. So, mm. sabi ko sa kanila, sa pananaw ko, being a Christian is not to be a perfect, sabi ko. Being a Christian is is that uh, I accept Jesus Christ as my Savior as, as, as na magpapatawit sa mga kasalanan ko. So, yun yung sinasabi ko sa kanila. Although, minsan, minsan nakukuha din ako na bakit ganun. Kasi, I did naman na na maging ano eh, yung mabago. Mabago yung buong pagkatao ko. Pero, hindi ako ano, hindi ako, hindi ko na sila iniintindi. So, dapat maging, maging ano pa rin tayo, maging focus pa rin tayo sa, sa goal natin sa Lord. Yung pinaka-goal natin. Na, na alam natin tama. So, huwag sana tayong mapanghinaan sa mga tao na nagbablock sa atin na makakilala ng uso sa Diyos. Mm. Yun lang po. Yes. Thank you po for sharing Ate Maricel and Kuya Orly. And, and that is true. Uh, yun yung mga tiyatawag natin na uh, hindrances, di ba? Hindrances. Me- meron at meron talaga yan, no? In our search for God, really, magkakaroon ng mga hindrances. Some people, no, uh, maybe, sabi nga, Kuya Orly, no, our friends, our family, etc. Uh, they will they will hinder us. Sometimes, hindi naman nila intentional yun, unintentional. Uh, but of course, we know who is behind that, no? Of course, the enemy. But if we are earnest in our search, if we persist, no, like yung 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 uh, blind beggar he was persistent no even though the the uh, sabi sa verse 39 those who led the way rebuked him and told him to be quiet no pero anong ginawa niya did he did he uh heed their call to be quiet no because alam niya he he wants he know that he is blind and he wanted to see and he knows that the lord jesus can heal him and he believed that the Lord Jesus will would heal him. So, naging persistent siya. He continues 
to he continue to cry out to Jesus, no? And the Lord Jesus hear 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 hears him and heals him. Amen. So ganun po. Uh, and also of course uh nandiyan din yung mga persecution, no? Hindi mo wawala din yung persecution. Um kasama yun, sabi nga ng Lord Jesus, the, the world persecuted him. Uh, kung ang Panginoong Isus nga ay persecute tayo pa kaya, di ba? So praise the Lord. Nakita ko po nagtaas ng kamay si Kuya Arnel. Yes po, Kuya Arnel. Ayan. Praise God. Blessings Opo. po sa lahat. Ah, nandiyan di ba ba si Brother Aziz? Mag-English tayo. Uh, opo, nandito po. Okay lang okay. naman po kay Tagli. <laughs> yes, sige. Okay po. Uh, nag, uh, nag-rema lang sa akin po dito sa yung verse na itong particular verse 39. Then those who went before warned him that he should be quiet. But he cried out all the more, Son of David, have mercy on me. Doon po sa those who went before warned him, uh, ito po yung mga hindrances kung paano po tayo magkaroon talaga ng ma-open yung ating eyes sa truth. Uh, mostly po, ang nagihinder po talaga madalas sa ating Christian work is madalas yung world, yung worldliness. Kapag uh, mayroon pa tayong mga kina humalingan or kinahihiligan or habits or naging nakasanayan natin yung mga bagay sa mundo or kaya naman ay parang addiction yan uh, it hinders us to, to really see what the what the lord is leading us to what his word is saying mm. amen so po, mm. madalas din po uh, yung complacency kapag uh, naging comfort na tayo sa ating usual na ginagawa routine especially sa ministry kapag uh, regular na yung ating ginagawa and then uh, naglalalim na rin yung friendship sa loob ng fellowship we become more comfort and then we, mm. kapag nandun na tayo sa stage parang hindi na rin natin nakikita kung nag-grow pa ba tayo o hindi nagmamature pa ba tayo o hindi because mm. we are comfort with each other na and we feel we spiritual but but the real growth the real spirituality ay hindi natin napapansin we are already blinded because mm. nandoon na ang focus natin sa usual natin ginagawa when instead the lord has something for us a purpose every one of us has a purpose mm. why the lord open us why the lord pick us choose us why the lord uh in among our family among our relatives within our colleagues neighbors mm. bakit niya pinili we have a purpose and then dahil nagiging comfort na tayo parang hindi na natin napapansin napapansin na alala lang natin kapag pinag-uusapan within the fellowship pero pag kawala na sa fellowship limot ka agad yung at pinag-usapan sa fellowship dahil blinded na tayo sa ating comfort zone yung ibig sabihin ko sa complacency. Mm. Ayun po. Yung may mga bagay po na nag, uh, nag-i-hinder sa atin to see the spiritual uh, truth within our lives, within His Word, and in within our walk. So let us uh, be aware and let us always continue to draw to the light to see from the darkness what the Lord is leading us. Mm. is the lamp unto our feet. Glory to God. Mm. Amen. Amen. Thank you po uh, uh, Kuya Arnel. That's that's really true, no? Tama po yung sabi ni Kuya Arnel and I I fully agree to that uh, yung world also is also a hindrance. Yung world yung sabi nga niya, yung world na tinutukoy niya is sa uh, yung uh, system ng mundo o yung ways ng mundo. For example, Uh, for example, ako, I, I can say this because uh, this is me and I know myself. Isa sa uh, problema ko yung hilig ko sa movies. Yan. So, anong nagiging hindrance dun? Sometimes, instead na mag, mag-aral ako that I devote my time into studying 
reading the Bible, the words of God, meditating the words of God, having quiet time. Anong nangyari ay nagagamit ko sa panonood ng movie, <laughs> di ba? And we have to be aware. And uh, pagka hindi, if we are not sensitive enough, no, ang mangyayari niyan is, uh, ayun nga, um, tayo rin mismo mag, yung kumaga mag, nagbubulag-bulagan. Although we are aware of the situation, pero uh, ayaw nating uh, i-recognize, ayaw nating magbago. You know? And also, yung sabi rin ni Kuya Arnel, yung, for example, sa church, no? tayo uh, siyempre of course as as uh, as uh, brothers and sisters in Christ nang kakaroon tayo ng uh, nakakapagbuo tayo ng tinatawag natin na camaraderie no that we are because we are always together so we become uh, close friends and sometimes nagiging parang uh, yun kung tawagin natin yung sa, sa um, tagalog yung barkadahan no So in, instead na maging fellowship of God or family of God nagiging parang barkadahan na. So instead na maging is maging strength tayo ng bawat isa spiritually, nagiging parang strength tayo sa world. And napapansin ko 'yan, no? Pagka <clears throat> let's say for example, uh, sa sa let's say pagka nasa uh, mag-obserbahan niyo pagka nasa Uh, gathering tayo kapag um, merong dinidiscuss about about the words of God about the truth about the words of God no very seldom ma- na marinig ko na nag-amen no maring merong nag-amen pero very seldom pero pagka merong sinabing joke and doon nagre-react lahat eh di ba kumbaga para bang mas gusto nating naririnig pa yung yung joke kesa dun sa truth about the words of God and we have to be no that that is true I'm not saying that because I'm angry no I'm not saying that because because ah uh, ah uh, na meron na kung gustong uh, patamaan or what no not not it's not that no uh, itong I believe this this uh, study of the words of God is like sabi nga uh, nagbibigay sa atin ng awareness no that sometimes nagkakaroon talaga yung mga ganitong mga pagkakataon and we have to be aware right so we have to be aware of of those things and itong pinag-uusapan natin this is not ano theoretical practical siya kasi it's really happening and we have to be aware of it no uh, that we as Christian sometimes in our walk no being christian uh, we sometimes mapupunta tayo diyan that we we tend to become hindi natin na-realize but we are already becoming spiritually blind like sabi ng kernel we think that we are is be we are spiritual because we are in the church every friday we are uh, our attendance is always there that uh, we are uh, we are participating in the church activities no but however nagiging blind na tayo so what this tonight what the the lord wants us is to recognize that that uh, hindi tayo exempted sa ganito no when i say tayo kasi even me i myself no is not exempted from this uh, it can also happen to me so that's why we always must recognize where we stand Are we kagaya ba tayo nung, nung blind beggar that we know that we are blind? <clears throat> that we know that we are blind and that we know that we want to see and that that we know and we believe that the Lord Jesus Christ can heal us. So with respect to spiritual, spiritual sense, uh, we know where we stand. We know kung ito ba tayo yung mga pinag-uusapan natin ngayon na nagiging uh, kumbaga nag nagkakaroon tayo ng spiritual blindness no and do we want to be healed and do we believe that it's only the Lord Jesus Christ who can heal us so let us cry out to him no brothers and sisters and i believe that's why tonight diyan tayo nililid no ng ating pag-aaral sa salita ng Diyos 
again don't think na na don't think na oh si pastor may pinatatamaan o si pastor merong sense no it's not like that my brothers and sisters you know you all know that that I love you okay but the words of God sabi nga Hebrews 4:12 is alive and active sharper than any double edged sword So, ibig sabihin, pag tinatamaan tayo ng salita ng Diyos, ibig sabihin, gumagana yung ang salita ng Diyos. No? So, yun dapat. Sabi nga, ma- dapat eh, makorek tayo. Mawala yung spiritual blindness na yan yung tinatawag. Amen po? Amen. 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 Okay. So, let's continue. Now, In verse 40, we can see here, in verse 40, anong ginawa ng Panginoong Isus in response? Uh, can someone read please? Sino na magbabasa? Uh, sino pang hindi nagkakapagbasa? Uh, si Kuya Manuel. Kuya Manuel? Are you there? Si, si uh, ano na lang Kuya Orly Sa anong sa type po, of Yung verse 40 Pakibasa ko Teka pa uh, Medyo maliit ka Jesus stopped and ordered Jesus stopped and ordered the man to be brought to him when when he come near Jesus asked him. Mm. Tuloy po. O so, doon lang po. Uh, Diyan lang muna. So, tanong uh, Kuya Orly. Question. So, what did the Lord Jesus Christ do because of the of the blind man crying out to the Lord Jesus Christ? Anong ginawa niya? According to verse 40. Yeah. Uh, when Jesus Christ uh, heard the, the voice of the blind man, he stopped and ordered and ordered the other man along along with with him uh, to be brought uh, to him mm. uh, we, we, ano, we, to be brought to him when uh, when he come near to the to the uh, blind man mm. and us mm. Mm. amen thank you po uh kuya orly no so sabi nga ni kuya orly that the lord jesus sabi dito the lord jesus stopped no so what do we get from this from this passage no we find from this passage that the lord jesus find or found time for the blind man no ibig sabihin tumigil kasi ang panginoon eh so remember the lord jesus christ was walking he why 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 was he walking is he walking just for the sake of walking no He's walking because there is a place that the Lord Jesus Christ want to reach because maybe he's going to uh, do the ministry there, right? As we can see from the, the next uh, passage, it's Zacchaeus, the tax collector, that uh, two Fridays back, but this was uh, our topic. So the Lord Jesus Christ was was walking, but because of the the, the persistent cry of the blind beggar no because of his persistent cry we see anong ginawa ng panginoong isus the lord jesus christ he found time the lord jesus christ find time for the blind man no as as he uh, while he was walking he stopped no to migil siya the lord jesus christ stopped and it's also the same thing for us no as he has always stopped for every sinner who's willing to come to him so if we are experiencing this no uh if we are experiencing sin in our lives let us call and cry out to him and he will always stop for us no for the lord jesus christ no one is too insignificant for him no burden of ours is too trivial for the lord jesus christ remember the lord jesus christ will always stop for those who will cry out to him so let us let us cry out to him 
right? Now, <clears throat> ako na lang po yung magbabasa, medyo ipapastrack po ng konti na para matapos natin. So, <clears throat> like, once in a while, no, we meet blind people, like, for example, for us, uh, we, nag, nung nagbakasyon kami sa Pilipinas, uh, we see, uh, na-experience ko to no yung mga beggar dun sa sidewalk sa Pilipinas but usually what do they beg for usually when they beg for money they beg for food pero in this passage no we can see what did the blind man beg for in verse 41 he begged for the Lord Jesus Christ asked what do you want me to do for you Lord I want to see he replied so he begged the the blind man beg for his sight no so what do we learn from his uh, from this blind man in what he requested we learn from the blind man that the blind man knew what to ask for he knew what was more important so that is the key we need to know what to ask for and we need to know what is more important because we can ask for money we can ask for food. We can ask for things. No. However, we in ourselves, what we should ask for is for the Lord Jesus Christ to heal us from this spiritual blindness. Because remember, Matthew chapter 6, no, verse 3 says, uh, Seek first His kingdom and His righteousness and everything shall be added unto you. Sometimes, nakakalimutan natin yun, you know. To, to seek His kingdom and His righteousness. Mupunta tayo, dumidirekta tayo dun sa ano. Gusto natin na uh, everything shall be added unto us. Eh, and lahat-lahat na. Without realizing that if only we will uh, seek the kingdom of God and His righteousness, everything shall follow. It will be added unto us. No? So, today, what do people usually ask of God and what should we ask? That is the question I want to uh, leave with you, my brothers and sisters, before we close uh, five minutes till ten. Today, what do people usually ask of God? And what you, what us, should ask from God? Of course, you know this from yourself. You know? What should you ask from God in terms of a spiritual sense, in, meaning in terms of your spiritual walk with God, what should you ask for God? Should you be like the blind man, crying out to the Lord Jesus Christ? No? Uh, and in verse 42, we see the response of the Lord Jesus Christ. No? The response of the Lord Jesus Christ is, Jesus said to him, receive your sight. Your faith has healed you. So we can see, the result, no, from verse 43, we can see the result from verse 43, no. The blind man received his sight. He followed Jesus and God was glorified. No, that was the result. So my brothers and sisters, what happens when we cry out to God? Ito po. No, we receive, we receive sight. And you may strengthen yung, yung ating faith sa Lord. And in return, we also are glorifying God. So, before we close, no, ito po yung iwanan ko po sa inyo na tanong mga, mga kapatid ko, uh, brothers and sisters, even for you, Brother Ashes. Um, of course, you don't have to Tell me the answer. Just uh, uh, keep the answer to yourself. And ask this yours to yourself. Am I spiritually blind? Do I want to see? And have you cried out to the Lord Jesus? Ask yourself that. From, from the discussion, no? if you have been attentive, Doon sa ating discussion. Maganda siya eh. It focuses on our uh, stand no, with the Lord Jesus Christ, yung, uh, yung pagiging spiritual natin. Now, 
the question that I'm leaving with you tonight is ask yourself, am I spiritually blind? Do you want to see? And have you cried out to the Lord Jesus Christ? When was the last time that you have cried out to the Lord Jesus Christ? Not for asking for material things, no. But when was the last time that you have cried out to the Lord Jesus Christ to help you be healed from spiritual blindness? No. So yun po mga kapatid. As a conclusion, when we come to the Lord Jesus Christ and cry out earnestly to Him, He heals our spiritual blindness so that we can truly see. No, yan po yung conclusion natin. So, tapos na po yung ating Bible study. If anyone has any questions or any insight, uh, please you may do so. Brothers and sisters, you can unmute po and ask. Any question? Quiet kayo ah. Quiet kayo ngayon ah. Okay na po, Pastor. Amen po. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. So again, maganda po, uh, maganda pong uh, yung ating um, pinag-aralan ngayong gabi. Uh, because this helps us to become, you know, to become mature. No? And that, yun naman ang aim ng Lord kung bakit na tayo nagba-Bible study. One, of course, to strengthen our faith. No? Kasi paano nga naman, how can a blind man uh, lead another blind? No, They will fall into the pit, di ba? Hindi naman po pwedeng bulag ang mag-aakay sa bulag din. So kailangan someone who is not blind. No, At sino yun? Of course, tayo yun. No? Tayo yun gagamitin ng Lord. Kaya dapat hindi tayo bulag. Dapat we can see sa upang ma magawa nating may akay ang mga uh, wala pang tamang relasyon sa ating Panginoon. Di ba? Remember our uh, our mission to evangelize, no, to facilitate. No, how we how can we do that if kung tayo mismo sa ating mga sarili ay eh, nandoon tayo sa uh, spiritual blindness na tinatawag. So we must be able to come out from that. And how the Lord Jesus, through the Lord Jesus Christ only. Walang shortcut dyan, you know, but it's only through the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? Any insight po or questions? Okay. How about you, Brother Ashis? Are you still there? Yes, Pastor. Do you have any question, brother? No, sir. No. Is it only you or uh, your wife is there with you? Listening? No, no, she also sleeping. She's sleeping. Ah, okay, praise the Lord. Yeah, it's already one o'clock, I think, there, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So if if no more questions or uh, inside brothers and sisters, uh, thank you for your time. And uh, just reflect on on those questions no na uh, that i have left no so reflect uh, reflect on it and uh, ask yourselves no am i spiritually blind do i want to see and have i cried out to the lord jesus so ask let us ask ourselves no and uh, of course Gaya nga ng blind man, the Lord Jesus Christ will always find time for us. No, The Lord Jesus Christ will always find time for you, brothers and sisters. Amen. So thank you for your time, brothers and sisters. Let us pray. Let us pray. Father God in heaven, we thank you, Lord, for this wonderful opportunity that you have given us tonight. Truly, Lord, I can say, Lord God, that you loved us, Father, that you are always guiding us, Lord God. Lord, Sometimes, Lord, if not, if not all the time, Lord God, uh, we are suffering from spiritual blindness. Father, Lord, help us. We know that it's only you, our Lord Jesus, that can help us, Lord God. Uh, in ourselves, we cannot, we can't do nothing. 
Father, but uh, only through your guidance, only through your only through your empowerment, Lord God, through your healing, Lord God, can, uh, can we be healed from this spiritual blindness, Lord God? Teach us, Lord God. Teach my brothers and sisters. I know that you love them, Lord God. I know that you love us, Father. So that I'm confident, Lord God, that if we cry out to you, Lord God, you will stop for us and you will give us time, Lord God, because you love us, Lord God, in a personal level, Lord God. So I thank you, Father. And Lord, for my brothers and sisters, I commit them all to you, Lord God, even those my my brethren that are here right now, Father, wherever they are, Lord God, uh, they may be in the Philippines or somewhere else, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, that you keep them safe, Father. And for us that are here, Lord God, who attended the Bible study, Lord God, I pray, Lord God, that uh, you give us the opportunity, Lord God, that we may be able to share your gospel Lord God, you, you give us the opportunity that may, we may be able to share the gospel, especially to our loved ones or to those, Lord God, that, that, that are in need of a true relationship with you, Father God. Lord, thank you for everyone. And I pray that tonight, Lord God, as we sleep, you, you uh, um, give, us, give us the peace, Lord God, the relaxation that our body needs, Lord God, so that uh, tomorrow when we wake up, Lord God, our physical strength is renewed, Lord God, ready to face the challenges, ready to face the the activities, Lord God, the 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 jobs, Lord God, the the your instructions, Lord God, uh, whatever opportunity that you will give us, Lord God, uh, to be able to glorify you and help us, Lord God, help us that in everything we do, we will be able to glorify you alone, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Thank you for everything, Lord God, and for our brothers and sisters or, or our, even our loved ones who are in need of healing, Lord God. Let there be healing in the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, uh, let, the, let the healing, Lord God, result in thanksgiving to you, Father, that people will, will recognize and will come back to you, Lord God, thanking you for the, the healing that they have received, Lord God, and through that healing, Father, there may, there may be an opportunity, an open door, Father, so that uh, we may be able to share the gospel, Lord God. So thank you for everything, Lord God. Uh, this we pray, Lord, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ and in the leading and guidance of the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Praise amen. the Lord. Good night. Amen. Good night. Amen. God bless. God bless. Amen. Good night, Paul. Good night, everyone. Good night, Paul. God bless. Good night. God bless. <laughs>